Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Cornell Big Red and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Buckeyes should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. Number one, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Second, it's imperative that you win the battle on the boards. Lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Both teams looking to get things going here. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Inside, the skip pass is picked off and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. the top of the circle way off target Donahue handles the feed he bombs from outside gets it to fall on the dribble gives it up takes the pass in the paint Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good job defensively. There it is, Jam City. That's a 7 nothing run. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. The ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And the fans are going wild. Oh, I could agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. the outside Donahue receives the ball ball was knocked loose but the offense got it back for the bucket perfectly executed moving it around the perimeter tries to get the D to bite looking for a screen on top and got it to the circle. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Beatty receives the pass. Fed the low block. There's the trap. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. That's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Game 
gave it up. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to pack it inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He'll regroup the offense. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. On the inside. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. his first. It's two at the charity strike. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Inside. Beatty handles the pass. He takes the shot. The big reps have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They're working around the arc. They're working around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He gets it to go. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He makes a nice shot fake. Pump fakes with the jump hook. Mate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. High post screen, so effective that screen. Number 14 with the fake. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Now they'll push it the other way. Goes up for two. the perimeter they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass on the top of the circle he drills it from downtown He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. Mm -hmm. 
fakes the jumper. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. He intercepts it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Puts it up. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sideline, the crowd seems to have expected this outcome, and you can tell they're certainly not surprised by tonight's score. Thanks, Aaron. Unloads. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Close defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Takes the shot. He is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And they come with a double team to stop it. Way off target. He up fakes. Shoots from outside. Sinks it. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. On the dribble, gives it up. And they get the turnover. The offense can't get that break going. These boys have really done their homework. Gave it up. He goes for three. He buries the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. Tries for two. Cornell are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Tickles the twine. Replay, please. away the pass looking for a good shot top of the circle they work it around the perimeter looks at the three they are red hot from behind the arc Dick they're rolling all cylinders right now from right at the circle he bangs it in for another score and the hits just keep coming on baby the student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. From the top of the circle, he's money from beyond the arc. He shoots from outside. He drains the shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For the bucket. 
I love the sky hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He puts up the tray. It sticks. Up and inside. Now they'll bring it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Ohio State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Picked out of the air. Fake. There's the fake. He goes with a baby hook. Yeah, now. Jiggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He shoots from left of the circle. Misses on the trifecta. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Look at that spacing. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got to get rid of it. Now the turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stripped him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Looking for a good shot on the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. How about a replay, boys? The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. We're going to move it around the perimeter from the baseline. The Buckeyes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Intercepted. Gave it up. Stolen away. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Working around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Gives it up. Gave it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He buries it. Only one basket away from the crowd being absolutely thrilled. Looking for a good shot. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. On the outside. He shoots from long range. Cornell are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Steals a pass. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. three-point land. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand not too long ago. <laughs> Picked off. Pushes it up. Looking for the foul. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Double team now, bad angle. Robs him of the ball. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. Got the high pick. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Look at that spacing. There's the screen up on top. Time, the Buckeyes lead by six. Well, let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Ohio State is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. All right, Dick, start of the second half. David versus Goliath. What do you expect? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, uh, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. for two. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. Almost lost a basketball. Strips the ball. Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Look 
didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires from long range. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. They'll work it around the arc. He fires it up. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Up fake. Nice fake. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Here they go, into the break. For two, and he scores despite the half. The Buckeyes are up by four. That's a great response by this crowd. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. This is unbelievable. The ceiling in this arena is about to pop right off. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, baby. There's the trap. Stolen. Now they work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. A high screen. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. Easy one. Ball approaching. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 31 is emotionally fired up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. And now it's coast to coast the other way. And look out for the bucket. The lay -in. comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes away the pass. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. And the jam. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. Like that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow.
Looking for a good shot. On the inside. The ball goes out of play. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. He comes away with it. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He goes to the line for the first time. He can't get one to fall. He hits a second. Gets the third. That's a 7-0 run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Stolen ball. it up for two he hits the shot they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass moving it around the perimeter the defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He intercepts it. High post screen. And the ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Steals the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Try to come up with a steal, and they do. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Dick and Brad, the underdogs are playing with a nothing to lose mentality. I'm right by their bench right now, and they're screaming, let's leave it all out on the floor. Guys, we could have an upset right now in the making. The 
They'll work it around the arc. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Picked off on the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. And a momentary look from three-point land. And he'll kick it back outside. The Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Makes the shot. Let's check out this replay, Brad. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? From the top of the key. They let him get into a rhythm. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with the right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. He is going to the line. Makes it. in front to take it away. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. They work the perimeter. They've left them completely alone. Here's a double team. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Way off target. High post flashes for the ball handler. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The fans are really satisfied with what's taking place out there on the court. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He throws it up from downtown. Ohio State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. For two, perfectly executed. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He gets the bucket to fall. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Executes the baby hook. 
I'll tell you, great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Sinks the shot. The Buckeyes are ahead by five. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Picked off. For two. Up. Easy one. I need to see that again, Brad. out of bounds everybody into the act right now and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going is that what makes college so special the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders the mascot everybody involved Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to deny him the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Blocks this shot. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the pick. There's the roll. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The shooting guard handles the feed. He drains the bucket. The Big Red are down by eight. And the fans here are loving the action. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you've got to be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. On the outside. Great defense. Got the shot if he wants it. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Takes away the pass. Inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Looking for a good shot. In the paint. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The power forward gets the ball. Stolen ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
I can't hear myself think. This arena is deafening. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio, baby. Steals the pass. On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the arc. He shoots. He gets the shot to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. From beyond the arc, he gets the shot to fall. Court. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. The point guard takes the pass. They work the perimeter. Got a wide open look. Time's up, Dick. How does a team just flat run out of time like that? Hey, Brad, when a defense is playing like these are, the offensive players become a little sure of what shot to take. So obviously, this waste time. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. He launches the bomb. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Hard foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Gives it up. The small forward gets the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important when you have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. And the clock stopped with a foul. It's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He has one and the bonus. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second. We've got a timeout here. for play to resume. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's got them this far, Brad. Can't change now. Up and inside. They should try for an early foul here. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Intercepted. From way outside. He gets the bucket to fall. 
And yet another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the loose team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He misses his second shot. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got to trip this lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. He looks for three. He buries the shot. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Buries it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. side to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Back to the live action we go. He shoots from long range. Rims out. I think it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup whenever things are getting really tough. They regroup and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Ohio State wins in this very competitive outing tonight. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.